good. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and our online guests. Let me begin my presentation today with a question. What if after you spent four years to 20 years serving your country in the military, after you get out, you come home, only to find out there's, that there's just really no good paying jobs? What if after a few years working at a company and being, being a dedicated employee, one day you walk in and they tell you that they need to permanently lay you off, and you can't even find a career that offers the same pay and the same benefits. I hope this gets your attention because this is a real scenario that could happen to any of us at any time. Like many Missourians who are hardworking and dedicated employees, they are finding it difficult, if not impossible, to find good paying jobs, even higher than jobs that are above the poverty level. You need higher technical paying jobs. The solution, which the Missouri House of Representatives has already passed and the governor has signed into a law, is to adopt Proposition A, right to work. My name is Danny Nichols. I'm a native of Missouri and a very strong proponent of Proposition A, right to work, because right to work is right for Missouri. There's three areas that I'm going to discuss with you this afternoon that specifically how they affect you. And that is, what is Proposition A? A brief history of Proposition A and the benefits for you on Proposition A. So the first area that we're gonna discuss is what exactly is Proposition A right to work? The most important thing with Proposition A, right to work, is it allows you the freedom to make a choice. In spite of what people are saying, this bill would allow everyone to have an open choice on whether they would like to or not join a union. And on the Secretary of State's webpage, this is the actual bill, and the bill reads, do the people of the state of Missouri want to adopt Senate Bill 19, right to work, as passed by the General Assembly in 2017, which prohibits as a condition of employment the forced membership into labor organizations or unions or forced payments in dues in full or pro rata, which is for fair share. So this bill opens up that you don't have to join a union as part of your employment. Now there's a lot of ads out there that say that right to work or Proposition A is gonna you know, end the union, but that's not really true because under federal protection law, anyone has the right to join a union. In the National Labor Relationship Board, on their webpage, it states that employees have the right to attempt to form a union where none currently exists. This does include right to work states. If Missouri adopts a right to work, Proposition A, you can still join a union. So now that you know that Proposition A doesn't impede on your rights as an employee, let's take a brief look at the history of Proposition A. Proposition A, or right to work, has already was already passed in 2015 by the House of Representatives. Governor J. Nixon vetoed that bill, and the Republicans were furious about this. Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder publicly criticized Nixon, saying that Nixon had put his personal agendas ahead of creating opportunities for for more opportunities for the workers of the state of Missouri. In 2016, 
Eric Rittens was elected governor after promising to pass a Proposition 8 right to work. In January, they fast-tracked it on February of this year, or I'm sorry, 2017, he signed it into a law. In August, the union gathered 300,000 signatures, which put a veto referendum to the governor's signed bill, and now you, as Missourians, get to vote on this bill on August 7th. So now that you know the history, let's talk about how this benefits you specifically. The last area is the most important, and that is right to work states attract businesses. Companies migrate to right to work states when they are relocating or expanding their businesses. Kentucky signed a right to work bill at the same time as Missouri, but theirs went into effect. Companies are already expanding into Kentucky, and Craig Boucher, CEO of Brady Industries, stated, when building this beautiful state-of-the-art factory, that without a right to work, Kentucky would not even have been considered or on the list when he was looking for a place to expand. The next area of how Proposition A will affect you personally is right to work states offer higher pay in median income factory segment jobs in right to work states. In an article on CNSN News, Stan Greer stated on average that the cost of living adjusted pay and benefits for factory sector employees in right to work states was significantly higher than for states that had forced unionization. The numbers just don't lie. From January 1995 through November of 2015, the states with the highest private sector job growth were all right-to-work states. And this was in an article titled Right to Work States Enjoying Greater Job Growth by Jason Hart. When you look at this chart, the orange represents right to work states. The blue is forced unionization. So the sad reality of, of it is, is during this time when companies were having significant job growth, Missouri only had 12% job creation and private sector jobs during the same time. So in conclusion, you need good manufacturing jobs. Without Missouri becoming a right to work state, there's probably the likelihood of any company expanding in Missouri is probably not going to happen. You need the freedom of choice to decide if you want to join a union or not. But you also need the opportunity to find jobs that offer higher pay greater benefits. So I need you to discuss this issue with all your friends. Tell them what you learned in this presentation. But most importantly, I need you to take action and go vote on August 7th on Proposition A. I need you to vote yes because right to work is right for Missouri. Thank you and have a good day.